I'm very proud to have a connection between my heartfelt feelings about improving education and the VEX and the FIRST robotics program. Looking back feels really nice. Looking forward, a little more complex. To the students here, please listen for a couple of minutes. I want to talk to you, but I hope the adults will listen too. I apologize. We adults have made a mess of things. We adults have created a world that's changing faster than we are willing to accept. We're dragging our feet in the face of an obvious need to keep up and make rational choices about how we interact with one another and with our planet. You have to grow up and lead us. And that's going to be tough. The rate of change that's clearly too much for us is accelerating. You must be intellectually and philosophically up to the task. So please learn a lot. You'll need what I call a 21st century education. That means that you must understand the universe, as in the laws of nature, yourself, and humanity or society. Guess what? Your participation in this robotics competition is the perfect first step. Here, you're deeply embedded in a wonderfully diverse group of folks. You are much better at getting along with one another than us adults. By respecting one another, you're laying the foundation for understanding humanity. By going through the rigors of competition, and exercising the grit needed to build your robot, you are learning about yourself. And by successfully making your robot work, you are learning some fundamental truths about the way the universe works. The competition includes three biggies, the universe, yourself, and society. And just to complicate things for you, we adults have created education systems that confuse training with education. For example, learning math is training, but learning to think using the principles of math requires education. Most of science in schools is learning the facts, but education in science is about the process of discovery. I believe in your lifetime, training will be done by artificial intelligence. It'll be better than, it'll be a better tutor than humans. True education, however, will remain human-to-human -human activity. Mentorship and apprenticeship will dominate. Working with will be more effective than listening to. So please, learn to train yourself. You're responsible for keeping up with the knowledge that you need to do what you need to do. Be proactive in seeking true education. Robotics competition is just one example of opportunities to be mentored, find others, do things, build things, do experiments, pay attention to other people's feelings, learn to be a great team member, make us adults help you become a truly educated person so you can sort out some of the messes that we have made. Mother Nature applies all of her rules all of the time. So I want to push back a little bit on this notion that critical thinking is only associated with a liberal arts education because I think it's really clear that design is a great model for critical thinking. We all know that in this process of going from an idea to a thing, you don't have this simple linear process. You go through a whole bunch of loops. It's a very confusing process, but very rational. So going from an idea to a product, you start with a completely unbounded imagination. You can believe six impossible things before breakfast. <clears throat> Near the end of the process, you're exercising wholly constrained judgment about the laws of the universe. That is a great exercise in critical thinking. Now, we hope productivity is going to continue to increase, but it's very clear that the uniquely human part of that will likely decrease. So it is our obligation 
to make sure that we can still do things that you, machines cannot yet do. Probably the single most important ingredient of a good contest is to make sure that it has been ambivalence scaled right so that even the staff or the people that conceive the contest have no idea what's the best solution. So if you balance things properly, then among the people that are talking about it, there's a heavy argument about which way to go. That drives diverse solutions. So please, fellow nerds, get involved. Give back. Let your professional pride show and share with the next generation. Thank you. At some point, we must face the fact that anti-science is pro-stupid. This recent summary article in New Yorker magazine points out that facts do not change our mind, and that's really scary, but to me, it's more disturbing to notice that we adults seem to have lost allegiance to truth. And without truth, things like freedom, justice, pursuit of happiness, not so much. So maybe we nerds can help. Perhaps we're the most rational of the human beings and we make great first mentors.
Thank you so much, Woody. Thank you, Woody. Your legacy will continue on in, the, in all the first. Thanks so much, Woody, for everything you've done for FIRST Robotics and the entire program. You're really the heart and soul of the program, and it won't be the same without you. Thank you, Woody. Thank you, Woody. Thanks for everything, Woody. Thanks, Woody. Woody, I'm glad that I got to meet you twice. Thank you, Woody. Thank you, Woody Flowers. You told me to be someone special, and I'll never forget that. Thank you, Woody.